We begin tonight with a shooting in Southeast D.C. caught on camera. Police say no one got hurt, but we're learning this is the second time in a month where gunfire erupted on the same block. Fox 5's David Kaplan is staying ahead live tonight with the very latest. Hi, David. Sierra, good evening to you. I can tell you this is the 2400 block of Elvins Street in southeast D.C. That first incident that you talked about with multiple shots fired, that was on October 22nd, according to police. One woman was shot and survived that incident. Then today, multiple shots fired in the middle of the day. Surveillance footage shared with Fox 5 DC gives you a glimpse into the scared terror that some neighbors felt when these shots rang out. Take a listen. At this time, DC police say they're investigating this as an unlawful discharge of a firearm, that they found evidence of a shooting, but no victims. Fox 5 visiting the scene early this evening. We spotted a playground that was in the same direction as the shots fired and D.C. police cameras were there as well. I mentioned that shooting from last month. Fox 5 obtained video inside a home from the October 22nd shooting where you can see where bullets flew in. A woman shot in the leg in that incident was the only injury between that shooting and today's. Salima Dofo is an ANC commissioner for Ward 8. He says he feels for the families who live near where these incidents are occurring, but he also says he feels for the people involved. He thinks there are resources available, but connecting people to them is an ongoing challenge. Adolfo added the city, though, needs to do more to communicate consequences. In his view, take a listen. I think that it's important for you know our city's leadership to take definitive and bold approaches and assert its authority in these spaces. I don't think that we need to turn into a police state, but I think that the city's leadership should make it known that hey, these are the consequences for this kind of behavior. And we can get you the help that you need, but you just can't be out here running amok and shooting up the place because you're bringing harm not only to yourself or your intended target, but you're bringing harm to a lot of people who have nothing to do with what's going on. Just adding to the frustration of neighbors on this block alone, D.C. police had this shooting today that they told us about again that no one was hurt. There was the October 22nd shooting just about five weeks ago, and they also said there was a stabbing at the beginning of October, meaning these three incidents all occurring in this specific block within the last seven or so weeks. D.C. police are asking anyone with any information to reach out. Sierra.